my god, guys, okay. How, well, let me turn off the... Hello, and welcome to Team Journey TC. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I, I just want to get right into the video. I'm not even going to do like a prop or whatever. Okay, as you all know, Watch Me with Dragon is my favorite movie series. And it has just ended. And I just saw the ending. And I was literally in tears while watching the movie just because of all the devotion that I have put into this franchise. There's going to be spoilers. And I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. And I'm not. Because in every way, it, 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 like, went beyond my expectations. And then it just, there's one thing about it that is, like, making me not be like, oh my god, this is such a great movie. Um, oh, I'll talk about what was good. Um, I thought it was funny, kind of, that it was more romantic, just because I thought, all the kids who, like, watch this are now my age, and they're, like, 14, so they're, like, you know, <laughs> being like, ooh, you know, <laughs> to whatever. But because it, it was more romantic than the other two, but it also showed, like, the importance of love, which I thought was important. Um, it was a little, it was a little weird that Snout Melt was, like, into his mom, at least not really, because I was like, Bleh. um, the villain, I thought the villain, I mean, I liked how he was a part, like, he knew Stoic, because, like, Stoic was, like, such, like, a big part of the movie, and now he's dead. Um, it was, it was, it was interesting, um, but, uh, I mean, I still think the villain was kind of weak, to be honest with you. Um, I thought we've seen that villain before. But like, oh my god, okay, here's where I'm getting again into spoilers. This isn't even going to be long, I just, I, ho I only have like a few short thoughts about this movie, but I have to share my few thoughts, and I can't like not share them, okay? Um, so it has, it has the most beautiful moment, right, when um, the dragon, they have this like wonderful callback, like, this, this seems weird, but like when, when, um, when Toothless like first meets him and he like comes up to him, and then it's going to be like the last moment that they're together. And it was so beautiful, and then they have the meet again, and I'm like, no, 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 you had me in tears, you had me caring, you had me so sad, you had me being like, this is the saddest but best movie I've ever seen, and then you show me this, and I'm like, oh, I mean, I'm happy that they're not lost forever, but I, I, I really wanted to you to be beautiful, and you're less beautiful now, that moment that I cried, that I cried for, I feel like I wasted my tears just cause of this ending, and it's not like the last monologue is bad. The last monologue is perfect. Like, it should have just been him talking to his child on the cliff that, Hick I have the solution. I could have fixed this movie. All you had to do was have Hiccup on that perch that Stoic gave Hiccup to talk about the hidden world, telling him about dragons and how there used to be, and they're going to hide until the world. Because it was, it was so sad to see the movie. I wasn't even, like, shocked by it. I, I was thinking that that was what was going to happen. I actually originally came into this movie thinking they were all going to go to the Hidden World, just because um, I thought that, especially since it was owned by Illumination, I didn't expect anything remotely sad in a movie, in this movie. And I read the books, um, so I had some idea that they were probably going to go off and mad and put them into hiding, and that's why we haven't seen them today. Uh, I thought it was going to be like that. Um, it's just... But th this this movie was still like really good. Like ten out of ten, you must watch this movie, especially if you're a fan of this movie. They had callbacks to the first movie with a little. I don't remember if it was Toothless who drew the thing in the sand or if it was Hiccup, and then he kissed. But it, they had that, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. And I get it. It was like them bonding, the same way that Toothless and Hiccup bond, which was so cool because Toothless and Hiccup obviously had like an in like un takeable relationship together and I was kind of upset with how easy like that was taken apart like just that like he was like oh I have someone else now bye and like I get the whole thing was like you had to let them go like you're gonna have to let people go eventually even if you've been with them forever and you love them but it was still kind of like really that fast you're just gonna leave like the first the minute, the minute you find another girl and he like thought about letting Hiccup die and like chasing his his new girlfriend or whatever I was like Toothless, buddy, what are you doing? This is not you. I was like, this is this is this is weird. Um, but other than that, I mean, there were some things that seemed a little off and a little weird. I didn't get the um. Or, originally, I was really interested because normally, like dragons are seen as like just good creatures, and I was like, he's not controlling these dragons. Why are they being evil? But he's just like instead of like something interesting, like oh, they've chosen to be evil just because like I've 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 just treated them well and tricked them into following me. Um, which I thought would have been more interesting. They were like, they're just drugged. They drugged, drugged, drugged him. 
I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Why does drugging them make them follow you? It, it seems so odd. Because the drug made them go to sleep originally. And then in the middle, it made them follow them, him. And it was like a weird shift. It didn't make a whole lot of sense. But I was like, oh, whatever. I can follow down this logic trail. Um, but there were, there were so many beautiful moments. Uh, the I thought the, the when Roughneck gets captured, I thought that was good. Um, I mean, it was obviously really obvious. But I don't think it was trying to be that obvious. So, like, that was fine. Um, I totally saw it coming. Um, that she was either gonna get followed, cause she said, she said, like, the village, and you all see him, like, break up. Like, that was fine. Um, what else? I mean, this movie was actually, like, really good. And I was really hoping it would be really good. So I'm glad that it was really good. If it was really bad, I would have been kind of upset, cause this is, like, my favorite. This is my childhood, okay? I literally, dragons are, like, my number one thing. Okay, you will not find, I mean, you probably can find a more obsessed dragon person than that person. I actually can say, like, dragon. Um, but no, okay, I am obsessed, and this was, like, a major, major dragon movie, and it has just ended, and it's my favorite series, and I just, I can't, I can't believe that it's ended, I was, I can't, I, I was literally crying in the theaters, I, I went with my friend, and after I was like, don't make fun of me, but I'm really sad, <laughs> she was like, oh, it's okay, um, but it, it was a fabulous end, I, I wish it would have ended just a little bit sadder, just because I'm like, I feel like, you know, Cause I'm like, you had such a beautiful moment, and I would have been crying for weeks if you just, like, left it, like, without, like, them meeting them, and just having that, like, the, the visual that I gave you at the beginning, that would have been perfect, that's the, that's the, if you had done that, your movie would have been, like, like, the best, it would have been, like, the best movie I've ever seen, okay, and I would have been, I would have loved it, I was like, that would be, I would be, like, oh, that's fine, the movie was two hours, um, it didn't feel long, though, I, I never think movies feel long, though. So if a movie feels long for me, then it must feel long. Uh, I never think movies feel long. I mean, this one felt, I guess this one actually felt kind of short. There were, it felt a little long in like some places, um, I guess. I don't know, it felt fine. He was like, you meet drag, you meet the villain, what was his name? He started with like a G. And he comes and attacks them, then they leave, then they hang out for a bit, and then they, they, it, it was, it didn't feel long at all actually. Um, there were only bits of times where it felt long with, like, the girlfriend. Um, which I think is just because I wasn't, I wasn't really that interested in that. And I wasn't really that interested in Hiccup and Astrid either. I know I was, like, supposed to because I'm, like, I'm a 14-year-old girl. That's what I'm supposed to be interested in. But I was, like, I was kind of just, like, well, cool. Um, and I got the fact that, like, he didn't need his dragon. Um, which was, which was good because it led up towards the end. But I was, I, I didn't care that much about the relationship. So I was just, like, I don't really care. I was just like, I mean, tell us that they're together, because I don't think it was clear in the second movie. I mean, I obviously watched the show, so I know they're together. Um, but I don't, I don't, well, I guess it must have been clear, because the second movie comes after the show. I haven't seen the second movie in forever, and I saw, I only saw it, like, twice. Um, to be fair, it wasn't, I liked it, but it wasn't, like, my favorite, my favorite. Um, but anyway, so, I mean, to give us some hints, show why she's important, and then, it, it's just, it was, it was a little overplayed, I was like, but. But, 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 just this, and you are the, are the, are, not like the couple, because that sounds like they're, like, together in, like, a weird way, um, but no, but just, like, like, the, the people who love each other, and I was, like, oh, and I, and I, I got what they were going for, like, you move your separate ways, and you go with different people, and that happens in life, um, I, I hope that we become good enough that the dragons can come out when, and everything will be peaceful, and we won't attack them, um, I hope that day comes in my lifetime and I can see that. That'd be really cool. Um, I don't, I don't even like know what to say. I'm kind of just like in tears. I'm like really sad. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm sad. I shouldn't even be sad. But like Ethan is like on his own. He's the king of the dragons now, but he's like all alone. I mean, he has his people, but like Hiccup isn't with him. I mean, Hiccup is with him in a way at the end. But I'm pretending like that ending didn't happen, um, and we just saw like the the flash screens with them together. That was the, that was the credits. That was a really cute credits. I really love the credits. And I'm gonna pretend like after he gave his speech with him on the perch. That's how I'm imagining the ending happening, and no one can tell me I can't because I can do whatever I want, okay? Because that that would just make it so much more beautiful. Um, so it was in well. I mean, the the other dragon catchers are kind of just like 
whatever. I did actually, I will say what I did like about the villain was his comparison to Hiccup. He was like, when you, when I was a boy, I was brave and I freaking killed my dragon, that dragon that I saw there. I, and I was known as a hero for it. And so it's kind of an opposite. It's like what Hiccup could have been if he had decided to kill Toothless rather than, than become friends with him and like spread peace. Um, so you could, you could see bits of Hiccup through him in a way. Um, because he's very strategical. I think Hiccup totally could have become him if things had gone differently. I mean, in a way, you like to think he has goodness in his heart, but, like, let's say he didn't, because, but that goodness in his heart is what led him not to kill Toothless. Like, if he didn't have that, like, good, gen, like, goodness in his heart, then I, I think he totally could have come out just like him. No, I, I see no reason that he couldn't have. So I did think that that was a good, um, sort of, like, foil, um, in terms of, like, I don't know, just, just that, like, it was a better villain, I thought, like, the, what was his, it was, like, Drago, was that his name, or was Drago the one from the show, I don't remember, okay, I'm not good with names, the villain of the second movie, I thought was really weak, um, and then the kid, the guy in the show, felt really weak, because it felt like you were copying an already weak villain, I was like, why are you doing that, that's dumb, um, but it's okay, um, I hope this movie does well in box office, it was all in all, it was a great ending, and I, I just, I can't say anything more. I'm just, oh, in tears. Goodbye.